Hare Krishna, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Harry Christians in Britain podcast. Uh, thank you to everyone from around the UK and around the world who continue to tune in uh, 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 every week to listen to uh, not what I have to say, but what our guests have to say. And as you know, from time to time, uh, when uh, we do allow guests from outside of Britain, as great as Great Britain is, uh, we do allow uh, guests from outside of the UK to to contribute. Um, I'm always keen to hear from devotees from around the world who have a story to tell. Everybody has a story to tell. Uh, and for this week, I'm really excited because we have gone, for our guest this week, we've gone all the way to the Brazilian rainforest. Uh, I have never, I, I believe it or not, I have never spoken to anyone I, that I'm aware of from the Brazilian rainforest. So I'm pleased to welcome our guest this week, Gora Nataraj Prabhu, Dandavat Pranams. Yeah, Dandavat Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. It's great to have you with us. And thank you for um, being uh, open to being a guest this week. Uh, we've kind of known each other for some time on social media. And you, like others, have a fascinating story to tell. Uh, and we're going to hear about it shortly. Um, I'm also conscious, everyone, of two things. Firstly, because uh, Gora Nataraj Prabhu is in the Brazilian rainforest, uh, there might be some connection issues. There isn't at the moment. Uh, but if there is, we have to kind of bear that in mind. And secondly, I'm aware that uh, I can speak quite fast at times. And I'm purpose, purposely trying to slow down my pace. Uh, so Goranataraj Prabhu understands what I'm saying because us Brits get carried away at times. <laughs> yes, of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. So uh, because talk talk yeah so I was going to just start really uh, Gora Nataraj Prabhu please uh, tell us a bit about you and where you're from. Good and thank you for inviting me to the interview and your podcast. I I very like so much your your podcast because is this have Hare Krishna have devotees in all the world and we we have connections about the consciousness and many things and i live in brazil but like i talked to you brazil is a very big place and have very different uh geography here and i'm born in the northeast from brazil but now i live in southeast of brazil and have many types of rainforest here because have the most popular is the Amazonia, the Amazon forest is a bigger, you know, like uh, having the other countries in the South America. But I'm living now in the, the name is Manticada Mountains, is close to the Sao Paulo city, like uh, three hours of far, but here, is like a hazard, like a park, very big, very large, like uh, many cities have a piece of the forest. And I, I live here and I care about uh, one farm. It's a, it's a, a park, like a hazard, particular reservation of forest and having many, many, many of uh, uh birds monkeys and other things and is is this here is is very very nice and what you need to understand more about here <laughs> well th that was a great introduction i mean you you've told us you're from brazil you were born in brazil you're still in brazil uh same as me i was born in britain and i'm i'm still in britain i've, I've traveled quite a bit but decided for some bizarre reason to stay um in the uk okay so you're from brazil um tell us let's tell us a bit about um how did you discover krishna consciousness how did you meet the devotees nice nice and like you know shila prabhupada introducing the occident 
the simple lifestyle. And this creates two types of living, the urban living and the culture living. And in Brazil, have projects of good country living, like uh, farms, but these are uh, big farms and find to the sustain sustainability, you know, to produce all the things and stay in the life with cows and agriculture in these things and have the temple. And it's, a, it's very crazy because I think you see in films, American movies, like uh, Colorado, Arizona, you know, like Texas and mm. And you think these are very dry place, very arid place, you know. In the northeast of Brazil is this, in the inner inner country. But if you go to the to the beach, you know it's like a Caribbean beach in northeast of Brazil. You know, it's very beautiful sea and coconuts and mango trees is very, very beautiful beaches in many places. But if you go to the inner, like uh, if you go to the way in like uh, 100, 100 kilometers, you see a very different place, like a dry and arid place. And I born in this place, it's like, uh, the name of the city is Caruaru. Caruaru is a name of a cactus, you know? A cactus tree, a cactus, very hmm. spikes. is the origin of the name of the city I bought. And I don't know why, only Krishna knows, and I think he, Krishna knows, the devotees go to Caruaru and create a Vraja, new Vrajadam. Wow. New Vrajadam. And new Vrajadam is a place in the top of a, like a mountain too and have forest too. It's a, I don't know in English, but it's an island, island of forest in the top of the mountain. And all the area in the cycle of many kilometers is arid place. In the top of the mountain is a forest and have many, 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 many hundreds of, uh, in Brazil talks is aisle of water. You know what is this? Aisle of water is where the river is born. Wow many of these places here is the same i live in now in the in the place of many rivers born and the water go to rio de janeiro and sao paulo the cities you know mm. the the people in the cities drinking the water born here and i have 14 years old 14 years old I invited for friends. I'm a roller skater. You know a roller? Like, like a skater, like on a skateboard. Uh, yes, but it's a roller. It's like a, uh, you know, the foot, foot with wheels. Hmm. Ro roller foot? skater. Yes, roller. roller. Skater. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. I I uh, I work uh, I'm I'm play with holders and I have many friends holders too, and I have friends girl uh, not girlfriends is a girls stay in the in the crew and invite me to the place oh have one one party that talk, she talked like this oh have one party. In a countryside, it's a very nice place. You can go with us. It's like our three sisters. 
you know, invite me to the temple, but I don't know it's a temple. And I go with, with the girls and I never, never see anything like this, you know, like uh, very different people, clothes is very different, the hair is very different, the smell is very different, all the place is very different. And I remember like a more young, like a nine or 10, I see the devotees in the streets singing and dancing, you know? And I asked to my mom, what is this? And my mom, this is crazy people, don't see this, you know? <laughs> yes, and I think this in my head and don't think more about it. And I have 14 go to the temple and is a uh, John master me. And I don't know what is this Jamastami, you know? The only thing I, I know is fast. Don't have food, mm. you know? All day, don't have food. And me and my friends go to the, go to the, to the trees and take many fruits, you know? And eat in the forest, the fruits, and come back to the temple. And... This is very nice. The in time the festival starts, you know, the devotees start to singing and open the altar and take the deities out for bed, the mm. archon you know, and in this moment, anything changed inside my head, mm. you know, like a, a different perception about all the things, like a, like a remembrance, you know, like a, I know what is happening now. And for a moment, I know the songs, I feel the things, what are happening. And in the end of the archan, the, you know, the charanamritam and the other things go to distribute to the votes in. I receive the garland, you know, the garland of the deity, but the garland is made by dry fruits. Wow. You know? You know, dry fruits? Mm. And I received this. And it's the first thing I eat in the temple, you know. Wow. like uh, And after this, the take the deities, go to inside to the altar and close the altar. And the festival starts. And there uh, are many brahmacharis, you know. In this time, like uh, 90, 95... 94, like this, many devotes. The mission in Brazil is very, very hard, very powerful. And you feel like many, many young devotees, like a very, very passionate, you know, like a very, very enthusiastic and singing. And one moment, I start in the middle of the singing and jumping and dancing and I, I know what happened here and this day I come back to my home vegetarian you know never more I eat wow. meat or wow. anything and every week not every week because I'm young you know and young is very crazy but sometimes like a two times in the in the in the mount I go to the temple and stay to the service and stay with the, clean the kitchen and working in the woods and work in the earth with the devotees, you know, mm. for five years. For five years, I do this and searching for a, a master, you know, searching for Gurudev because I, I need, I, I feel, I, I, I'm here. I, I'm, I'm a part of this, you know, and I think uh, 
find for Gurudev, searching for Gurudev. In this temple, it's just Iskand temple. In this time, I, I, I know many of the sannyasis of Iskand, you know, Idayananda and Parangati and Chandramukha and uh, many, 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 Jaipataka. And I know all, all, all the, the gurus of Iskand. And if you can ask me other thing, because this this have the the second part. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm conscious that we're going on to the next bit, but I guess before we move on to that, in terms of your guru yes. and your relationship with him, so I just just I think let's go back to when you were 14 years old. I think yes. you said that you went to the temple and you could hear the songs, and it was like you remembered them from like yes. a past life so that that's quite remarkable so you were having these thoughts that you'd heard these songs before even though you had never been to the temple before that's quite amazing i i mean i've never i mean i'm, I'm i've never heard <laughs> anyone say that before uh well certainly they've never told me um uh so at the age of 14 you were remembering things possibly from kind of a past life or kind of you know, from something before that must have felt quite amazing. It's, uh, I don't know, explain this. It's like, uh, I think is uh, for, for 14 years, for 14 years, I'm sleeping. In one moment, I wake up. But the reverence, the 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 memory, the memory, yeah. it's like a memory, you know. The memory is me inside of me, and wake up. And the thing is, this is the most important moment in my life, you know, because it's a this a mark, like a mark, like a point. You know, like a flag, mm. point at one direction in my life, and I don't know. Maybe is is not a only a proposition or a possibility. Is mm. is a great possibility. I'm not alive today, if not the Krishna consciousness and Gurudev. You know, because. Brazil is a very hard place to live, you know, like we survive here. We mm. live, but we survive. It's like this. You said that you went to the temple with some, some girls, some friends. Um, yes. did, did they also become attracted to Krishna consciousness as well? Yes. Uh, this is a funny thing, you know, because the three sisters uh born like born in the krishna consciousness because her okay. mom her mom and her father is like a hippies you mm. know mm. and create connection with the devotees like uh in the 80s and uh and the girls the first girl i think is almost my my age is like a 80, 81 born in 80 or 81 and in this time i think in the 84 yes 84 or 85 the devotees create new vrajadam mm. is uh mm. is not the first is the second temple in brazil the second like Iskon a, temple in Iskon Brazil. temple, yes, okay. but not a not a urban temple. It's a country temple. Mm. It's, I, I, I think it's the second, and only two two countries original country temples stay working in Brazil now. Is one is close to here in a very very crazy name. The name of the city is Pindamonhangaba. You know. The name of the city of the Nova Go New Gokula. Okay. New Gokula is close to here. And in northeast of Brazil is New Vrajadam. It's the oh. more oldest stay working uh, country temples in Brazil. Mm. So you were involved uh, 
in this temple for about five years doing services. Yes. Seva. Yes. Uh, and this was this was is an Iskon temple. Yes. Uh, so this leads me nicely onto my next question, <laughs> uh, which because I'm kind of keen to hear about that transition or that leap to to initiation. So uh, you're a disciple. No, actually, let me change the question around because I want you to tell us instead of me saying. So tell us a bit about who your guru is. Uh, tell us about him. I assume it's a him uh, and how you met him. So who is he? And how how you met him? Yes, this is a this is a very very nice and crazy history. You like it? <laughs> uh, yes, you like I it. I hope you so. Like it. <laughs> and is this for this time? You know, five years. My family don't like so much. I'm going to the temple. You know, <laughs> my family is. Thinking in Brazil is is uh, Brazil, I think in Britain is close to this, but uh, in Brazil is a very fanatic Christianism, you know, fanatic is a very very crazy thing, and or you is a Catholic or you is a Protestant, and here have uh, five hundred churches of Protestantism you know, and many other types of Christianism. And my father and my mother, the families, is a very Christian families, you know. Every Sunday go to the church like this. And I, I do the, the, the first steps of the Christianism, like a baptism and the communication, you know, the thing you eat, C communion like communion communion yes yeah, yeah, don't worry so baptism yes. communion was was that in the protestant church you you were you raised know? no for you were you your family are protestant or catholic catholic okay. yes okay. the two sides yeah and and not so christian family in the in you think like this like uh brazil have many influences of other other culture cultures and in artists of brazil have many things with the uh, spiritism too like mm. alan kardec you know the french the the spiritism and have the connections and the thing is, my family think I'm crazy and I need to go to the mental hospital because the <laughs> devotees do brain watching me, you know? <laughs> and if you think, and one day, one day I start to be a vegetarian, good, but my grandfather of my father and my mother work with meat. <laughs> mm. Work with meat, mm. sell meat. The father of my father uh, create cows for slaughter. And the father of my mom sell meat for the cities. You know, for the, for the, the, you know, the merchants, like, uh, the, 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 the merchants, the shops, the restaurants, uh, you know, in the streets, you put the things in the streets for sale, like in India markets, markets. Yes. yes. Like this and distribute, uh, meat in the markets, in the, cities around the city I'm living and in one day I don't eat more meat and the the, the people think what you what you do you know mm. why you don't eat more and this is a very very drastic thing in the family and the other thing is I'm not a Catholic more. I don't go more to the church. I don't, I don't, I don't feel these things more. 
And my family is very against, very, very against my spiritual transition. And in the time I conclude the, the school, you know, I don't know in, in, in London or in Britain how it is, but in Brazil, you have the school and college like this, mm. university, the university. And I um, conclude the, the school and need to go to the university. In the city of Fiborn, don't have university. I need to move myself to the other seat for a study. And my family think this is good because go to far away to the Hare Krishnas, <laughs> you know? And I'm very sad. I'm very sad because this. And I think in Brazil, have, you need to do a test. You need to do a, a, a test mm. for going in the universities. If you do good in the test, you don't get it. And you need to one year more study for try again. And I think if I don't pass, I come back to home. <laughs> and I think, but if it's better for me, I need to pass. I need to go into the university. And I think I don't go to his force. I don't go to put hard. I don't go hard, put my my very hard intention in this. I only go and do it. And I go in, in the university, you know, and I do to the communication, journalism. And I'm very sad because this, because I don't see more the devotees. I don't go to the temple. Or I live in the other city. In the first, first week, in the university, in the block, you know, in the pavilion of have the, on the, uh, yes, have many, many rooms, class, and a pavilion, and the people go in many, 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 many people, and I see an old man with white hair, but heavy country. And I see him, I don't believe, I don't believe this is country. And I, I, I like, um, sorry, Prabhu, I, you know, I, if don't see me, like, a, I, like a sneak, sneak, like a sneak, like a sneaking, yeah, I like thought, hiding, yes. or hiding yes i hide hiding. myself i hide yes i hide i hide and i scream haribo you know i talk haribo and i in that time i talk haribo only these guys stop and go to search and i go to him and talk with him what you is a devotee, Jai Prabhu, Jai Dunavats, and the name is Rajendra Krishna Prabhu. And in the past year, he he go to the past this body, you know, pass away of this body in the next year. And next, I think it's not next. Last year. Last, last, last year. year. Yes. Sorry. 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 Don't worry. Last, don't worry at all. In the last year, he died. And this is the first devotee I see of Shri Chaitanya Sarasvat Math, you know. And I talk with him, Prabhu, help me. I need association. I don't know everything in this city. I don't know nothing. And I, I'm not happy here. I, I think every day to go back to home, but you, you show me hope here today. What is possible to do? And the, the Rajendra talk, don't worry, Prabhu. Like uh, last uh, five months ago, like uh, five months ago, 
we started a center here. We have a temple now. And yes, Prabhu, yes, yes. And the Saturday you can go with us, have a festival and give me the address. And oh yes, I will go, I will go. And he started to be a big friend of me, you know, very big friend. And the first time I go to the temple, I see different things. You know, what? Different, different pictures and different mm. parampara. And I, where is Prabhupada? Where is Prabhupada, you know? But the devotees talk, oh, we here, we are disciples of uh, Sri Shidhar Maharaj and Srila Govinda Maharaj. This is our Sri Chaitanya Sarasvati Mat. Oh, oh, nice. And how is the difference? And explain me about the brotherhood of Srila Sridhar Maharaj and Srila Prabhupada and the mission of this country started by Prabhupada and the Sri Chaitanya Sarasmat Mat started in Navadweep and stay in Navadweep at this time and taught me about so many things and give me a book of Srila Gurudev. It's a uh, hurt and halo. Hurt and halo. It's a so nice book of Srila Gurudev. So nice and nice feel so much love inside my heart and I feel this is my Gurudev this is my Gurudev and I see the picture in the book and I feel like love for Gurudev you know like mm. so beauty like so attractive you know and he, he smiles and I feel this is this is my Gurudev and I I'm start to, to go to this temple for I think five I think four months, four months. And after this, I, I will stop now. I only don't conclude this, this, this pass. And one sannyas, the name is Padmanabha Maharaj. Now is in the other mission, but this time he stay connected with uh, Srila Gurudev. Go to the temple to give the initiation. And I received my initiation in November of uh, 2001. 2000? 2001. 2001. Wow. Over 20 years ago, 22 years ago. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. And in the time of initiation, the Maharaj talked, you don't go more back to your home. You know, what, Maharaj? Yes, you need to stay here and live here and take care about the, the temple and study and do your practice here. And from mm -hmm. here, you go to the university and come back to sleep here. And <laughs> because this, I live in the temple almost three years, you know? Wow. Yes, I I almost conclude the university in the time of the temple, but uh, the pro pro propriety, like the 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 building, the building of the temple, is a couple, and the couple uh, separated, like separated the, the 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 owners, yes. the propri proprietors of the temple. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. And the uh, stop the temple and I go back to the uh, I go to the apartment and mm. go to live my life. And it is this is this is the second time of the process in my life. But if you ask me more things, I go to the so, next. So you were an, an init initially initiated, originally initiated. Uh, in, in uh, does it make sense? Does it? You re you received initiation in two thousand and one from a, a, a sannyasi called Padmanabha Padmanabha Maharaj. 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 Yes, and he was in the name of Shila Gurudev. Okay, and he was a sannyasi in the Sri Taitanya Sarasvat mat. Yeah, and he's now gone elsewhere to another mat. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Now is another match. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let let's fast forward a bit. Uh, uh, to I'm trying to think how we get to this by what question I'm going to ask next. Um, <laughs> you eventually received initiation from uh, or reinitiation or second initiation or I'm not sure how, what kind of phrase you're comfortable using. You eventually received initiation from Bhakti Sundar Goswami Maharaj. I, I think you. No, you, you have you. No, I didn't. Did you? No, I I have the second initiation, the Brahminic initiation, give to me for in time is Bhuvan Mohan Prabhu. Bhuvan Mohan Prabhu is a disciple of Srila Prabhupada and living in the USA in time like uh, New York. And in the time is a Brahmachari of Srila Prabhupada. And Srila Prabhupada goes to the uh, divine pastimes. And Bhuvan Moham is other name in the East Coast, I don't remember. But Bhuvan Moham, Ashra Maharaj, Anahadan Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj, Matsudan Maharaj, all these Swamis is from East Coast, go to Srila Sridhar Maharaj. Yeah. And Bhuvan Moham Prabhu, have the 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 mission go to brazil and start the mission shri chaitanya sarasvat mat in brazil in okay. this time in this time he's a sannyasi but for i don't know what year he come back to the shri shridhar maharaj i think in the i don't know i don't know the year but talk about get married and Srila Shidara Maharaj give the this bless to get married mm. and Bhuvan Mohan in 2003 2003 he gave me the second initiation mm. and in 2011 2010 in 2010 I go to live in the Krishna Shakti Ashram. It's in the southeast of Brazil. It's close to here, like uh, three hours too, but mm. in the other direction, not in the direction of Sao Paulo city. And it's in, it's in the Manticada Mountains too. It's a very beautiful place. And 2010 is the time of Gurudev go out of this planet. And his successor, Shila Acharya Maharaj, mm -hmm. come to Brazil in the first, first travel. The first travel of Shila Acharya Maharaj go out of the India. The first place he comes to Brazil. And in time I know this, I think I need to go to the temple. I need to go to the temple and, and wait for the Shilacharya Maharaj because I need to stay with the with the successor of Gurudev because my my very big fault in my life is not do service to Shila Gurudev, you know, because I think in, in Brazil it's very hard to go to India, you know, and. After I come to Campus do Jordão, because the temple of Krishna Shakti Ashram is in the Campus do Jordão, my life is impossible. The the style of my life, impossibility the the travel to India. You know, mm -hmm. my connection with Guru Dev is only about the sannyasis and the books and the in the classes, and Guru Dev pass pass out of this world and I think what I do with my life, you know, what I do with my my spiritual life. And I think I need to I need to rent myself, you know, I, I need to I need to do anything for the mission. And in this time I I work with uh environment, you know. 
in the public environment in the city like a major you know this i i don't know in in, mm. in britain like uh have a administration of the city have many many sectors in the in the for the, for the council you worked for the council the city council uh yes. working in the in the environmental department uh which is yes. a very very important department and dealing with environmental issues maybe public health uh yes. other yes. things like that yeah yes and in this time i work with this and work with uh, advertising i have two other friends and we create a uh, agency of uh create marks and identity and many things and I put all this out. I I get off of this and go to live in the temple. And I stay with Shilacharya Maharaj and give my obeisances to him and ask to him put me in the mission for service. And Acharya Maharaj talk stay stay here in the ashram and help here and do your service and you have a good spiritual life. Mm. And I stay for more two years in the temple, live in the temple and like a pujari of the temple again. And this other part of my life because I'm I'm married for six years mm -hmm. is a very, very different things happening too. But ask other thing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um let, let's change the subject a little bit, uh, because um, one of the things that I, when I was kind of researching you, uh, researching about you for this podcast, uh, you sent me the details of your YouTube channel. Uh, and you have a very active and colourful YouTube channel, which I'll, I'll put the link uh, above this broadcast so people can see it. So yeah. you, you have a strong interest in astrology. Uh, your an astrologer, uh, if we if we can use that term. Uh, so tell us a bit about that. Uh, the YouTube channel is great, by the way. Tell us a bit no. about how long have you been interested in astrology? Uh, is it a gift that you've had for a long time or an interest, or is it something you've developed later on in life? Nice, nice, very good. It's a, it's a other very funny thing, you know. Because uh, what happening? Until like uh, at the time I have fourteen and discovery the Krishna consciousness, you know, <clears throat> like uh, I think this is amazing. This is amazing, you know. This is so nice. Like oh. uh, the first book I see, the first book I read is the easy travel to the other planets you know you know this book yeah it's very yeah, yeah, yeah. nice it's very nice you know it, Prabhupada right. is very right. nice yeah. I'm just seeing if I have it here and I, I uh yes, yes. I have a lot of others but not easy journeys to other planets is on another shelf over there but um yes yeah. but easy but, journey to other planets yeah it, it's it's quite popular and it's very easy to read isn't it Yes, it's very, very easy and has many <laughs> scientific explanations, you know. But the, the first thing I have attraction is the, the cover. I don't know in English what is the cover, but in Portuguese, the cover is a mystic yogi in Padmasana, you know. And your head is open and mm. your soul your soul comes out of his head go to the moon you know and i see this and i think i need to stay like this this is the goal of my life you know i think this is the goal of my life it's like uh i see i i, I feel have attraction about the mystic yogi is is this a very very interesting interesting thing and what are happening? The Jyotish. Ah, yes. And all the things I discovered, I talk with my friends. I search for people to listen to me about these things, you know. It's a very hard. It's very hard to, to find people 
to listen mm -hmm. you about the Krishna consciousness. Because in Brazil, the, the people have many, many, uh, I don't know, pre preconcepts, preconcepts. Mm. Pre preconceptions you know? or, or preconceived yes. ideas, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And avoid the devotees, you know. If, if I now have, but more or less, you know, like the devotees using the appropriate clothes and sell mm. books in the streets this is very hard in this day in brazil and because I have a very preconception about this type of people here because the christianism and the other things and i feel a very deep desire to talk about Srila Gurudev, about the Krishna conception, about the spiritual life, about the philosophy, about sadhana, about many things. I, I, I feel for all my life, mm. this very deep desire to talk about this. And I'm talk, and many of my friends don't like so much, you know, like, uh, you talk only about this, you're so bored, you know, <laughs> but yes, Yes, and I think I need a way, I need a way to go in the mind of the people. And the people need to go like uh, search me and like, I, I don't know the how to do this, but I need, I think I need to have one thing, one thing, the people need for I put the Krishna consciousness inside of this, mm. you know. And for many years, I think this is communication, expression. And I like I like take photos, you know. In my family, I have photographers. Mm. My father, my my grandfather, take photos too. And for many years, I stood in for. Uh, visual design and the uh, construction of the things and one time I know about the astrology you know but I don't feel attraction about the traditional astrology because I think everything anything is wrong here and I don't connected me with uh, tropical astrology. In 2016, 2016, I have my first connection with the uh, Jyotish. And again, my life changed, completely changed. Because it's the other it's like a, the same thing, like the first time staying in the temple. In the moment, I understand how Jyotish works. It's like uh, all the memories about these conceptions come to me. And I understand how the Jyotish works. And I studied about Jyotish. And now I'm using Jyotish to a form to talk about the Krishna consciousness. Because mm. have many ways to you see the Jyotish, but the goal of Jyotish is explain you about the cycle of samsara. If you understand this, you go to the Dharma, you go to do your 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 sadhana, you know, mm. you, you go to advance it in your spiritual life. Can but you, I don't know is the question. Just to just to clarify, you're you're using the word ge geotish. Yes. And this is a this is a type of astro astrology. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. I, I don't know like... much about astrology. In fact, I know nothing about astrology really. Uh, so ge geotish is a type of astro astrology. Yes, this is very nice to you, to you understand now, because I, I listen of uh, Avaduta Maharaj classes in, in this week about the connection with the Gaudiya Sampradaya and yep. the astrology, you know, because 
Shilabhakti Siddhanta. Shilabhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Taku is a very, very deep knowledge mm. about Jyotish. The, the thing is that have the Indian, ancient Indian astrology. The ancient Indian astrology, the name is Jyotish. And in the world, have the uh, tropical astrology have origin in the great Greek, Greek, with Greeks, and have a astronomical Jyotish. difference. Have a astronomical difference about the calculus, about the mathematics of the Jyotish and the tropical astrology. And this is a very huge difference in conception, you know, because need, need all the position of the planets. But more than this is the conception of the astrology go to the transcendental world. You go out of the three-dimensional world, you know, you don't you don't yeah. see only the physical things. You go to understand the karma. You go to understand the past lives and your predispositions, you know, like uh, your condi condition and mm. condition. Condi uh, yes, it's like this. is sanskaras and karmas, you know. Mm. You, you go to study this. And the, this is study for me is a very good, very good way to preach. Because not in the classes, because in the YouTube, I have classes open for all the people, you know, I, I don't, I, I, it's the open, open class. If anybody go and go out of the, the class, no problem. And in these videos in the YouTube, I read the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, and many, many other conceptions of Srila Shiridhar Maharaj, Srila Govinda Maharaj, and in the, in the goal of this is everybody have karma. Everybody, everybody, good karma and bad karma. Mm. But we need to think about Sukriti. Because with Sukriti, we go to the higher planes of the transcendental existence. And if you have surrender in the same proportion, in the same proportion, you surrender yourself in the in the in the proposal, in the goal of the spiritual, you have less conditions of your karma. You mm. know, it's mm. like a more surrender, more karma free, you know, because Krishna taught this in Bhagavad Gita. In the, in the way you surrender to me, I walk in your direction, you know, like uh, we, we support all the karma, all the faults. I was just looking up on my phone, actually, uh, uh, Jyotish. Uh, I had yes. I had to confess I, I hadn't heard of it before, but uh, Wikipedia mm -hmm. has has described it as Hindu astrology, uh, Jyotish, um, from the Sanskrit means light or heavenly body. Uh, it's the traditional Hindu system of astrology, also known as Hindu astrology, Indian astrology, uh, and more recently Vedic astrology. Uh, and it says it is one of the six auxiliary disciplines in Hinduism. That's another conversation that is connected with the study of the Vedas. So uh, you learn something new every day. Uh, <laughs> Jyotish, Jyotish is, is a type of astrology rooted in the Vedas, the Sanskrit yes. textbooks, uh, which are, yes. are the gifts of our Gaudiya teachers to the world. Uh, okay, so so you have one thing. Oh, yeah, talk, talk, talk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, ask a question. I was going to kind of link back to 
your interest in it, but ask a question, please, or say something. <laughs> I, I, yes, I, I only say the thing is the Vedas, the four mm. Vedas, Ayurveda, Samaveda, Tava Veda, Rig Veda, is written for Veda Vyas, Vyasa Dev, and the Mahabharata too. And the Bhagavad Gita is stay inside of the Mahabharata. Mm -hmm. And the father of Veda Vyas is Parashara Muni, the father of Veda Vyas. And the Veda Vyas is the creator of the Jyotish. Is a Parashara Hora Shastra. Parashara Hora Shastra is the first book of Jyotish. Mm. Is a astronomical and phenomenological study about the movements of the planets. In the fifth chant, fifth canto, I don't know, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the fifth, the five, five canto chant. I don't know in English, is about uh, about the talk about the geotish, talk about the movement of the planets, talk about the time of the sun, how you mm. do and create the clocks, clocks, ancient clocks, you know, is a very nice thing. And if you think all the all the holy days. All the holy days is a calculation of the astrology because Ekadasi, Duadasi, Janmastami, Gora Purnima. Purnima is full moon. You know, and all these stay in the in the mathematics of the study of the Vedas and the devotional things. And I, I I'm very satisfied, you know, because the I I receive the bless of this knowledge, you know, for help the people, for for help the devotees in your lives, you know. Mm. It's the my 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 desire is this talk about the conception, philosophical conception, and help the people in this material suffer, you know. But ask, ask your mm. So question. my question was going to be around kind of the, your interest in astrology uh, uh, came, you know, from a young age when you were a teenager. Uh, and, and do you have a particular gift or ability to therefore um, uh, uh, give people advice on their future? Uh, so the, the kind of common layman's term is really, you know, it's, it's horoscopes, isn't it? Giving people kind yes. of um, um, horoscopic astrological readings. Is that something that you do for people? Yes, these two, these two, this is uh, like uh, one of the things that is possible to do, you know, and if like uh, if I talk with you about your your chart, you know, like your birth birth uh, birth natal natal chart, mm. and in the Jyotish, you create one. You have the day, mount, year, hour, minutes, and place. You create your life book with all your karma, you know, and your, all your predispositions and things will happen in your life. But in the same time, you create many other divisional charts mm. about, about subtle dimensions, like uh, spiritual planes in different types of spiritual planes like uh tatashtas like uh koshas if you know we have five koshas anamaya kosha manomaya kosha gyanamaya kosha is like our bodies like bodies bodies so but 
It's not a three-dimensional bodies. It's not a material bodies. It's an energetical bodies. And if you see in your chair, you see the positions of the planets and you go to understand how these different dimensions influences in your life. And it's possible I do the horoscope because the horoscope is a very interesting thing about the people, the person, because don't, it's a very generic thing if you do a horoscope to the all world, you know, because all the people, individual, receive a different part of the energy of staying mm. the world, you know. It's like uh, it's like uh, searching for the signal in the radio, mm. you know. You, it's possible you change the channel. It's possible because this is your connection to the transcendental and the subtle words. Mm. You understand this? Mm. So like if, this. If, if I was to give you, not that I'm going to do it now during the broadcast, but <laughs> if, I was, if I was going to give you my date of birth, my time of birth, and my location of birth, You'll be able to do some type of chart and tell me what my future might hold. Possibly. Yes, yes, it's possible see your future. Mm -hmm. Many things, but the most important thing is you understand how is the way, the better way for you go to your life. Mm. like a dharmic vision, the dharmic vision of your existence, because we need, we need to take energy for the nature, for stay alive. Mm. This is karma. This is karma. In the Bhagavad Gita, we see karma yoga and have many types of karma yoga for sustain, sustain the life and have no problem if you do this in with consciousness with uh with the uh, sittings uh follow the instructions about the life in the varnashram and these things but if you understand how is the goal of your life of your existence like how is the better thing you go to do in your life think about yourself Mm. This podcast, this podcast is a very good way to preach to the others and connect the voters mm. in other world, you know. Mm. This is the way of you do your dharma, you know. Mm. It's not a, it's not like a, you need to take sannyas and you need to go to live in the temple. And you need to go to to do a pujari, you know, not. It, it's not in that not, much detail, in... is it? It's not in that much detail, finite detail. What one of for me personally, in terms of astrology and and recognizing astrology's place in in society, is that when I was a child growing up, you know, my understanding of astrology was it was very much on the periphery of society in western culture we don't really prioritize astrology uh, uh the, the national lottery every saturday night on the tv they do the lottery <laughs> numbers uh, and there was a lady and, and actually i've just looked her up she's still alive a lady called mystic meg who used to come on the she's tv nice. and predict uh she didn't predict the lottery numbers but she used to predict the type of person that's going to win, where they live and what they look like. And, and you would, and also, also you could read your horoscope in kind of what we would call tabloid newspapers, which are newspapers that, that you don't really take very seriously. And they're kind of like, sorry to any readers listening that read tabloids. Uh, and they're kind of, kind of, kind <laughs> of, um, they talk about lifestyle and gossip about celebrities and they attack politicians a lot and stuff. So, so growing up, my 
only experience of astrology was Mystic Meg on the lottery and tabloid newspapers, you know, talking trash about people and horoscopes. And then you join the Krishna consciousness movement and you say, actually, astrology isn't on the periphery. It's not just in the tabloids. It's a mainstream part of our philosophy in terms of understanding, you know, the moon and the 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 comment the calendar and how the calendar works and and you know a lot of devotees will get married uh and they will have their charts done before they marry someone and and they'll check if it's the right person <laughs> based on the, if yes. they match up and that was certainly a learning curve for me was how central astrology is to the the bhakti yoga krishna conscious cultural lifestyle that's my rambling that's a bit of a rambling there so so i find it just fascinating to meet people like you and this you know because i i still i mean i've been i've been in the Hare Krishna movement for almost 20 years and i if i'm honest i still don't really prioritize astrology i i don't you know i just get on with my seva i chant my rhymes every day I try and put God first in everything that I do. I be nice to people. I preach. I distribute books, you know, and 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 in terms of what's a good day to do it based on the astrological charts, I don't know. I just go and do it, <laughs> you know. Um, yes. But it's a big part of I can see it's a massive part of what you do, you know, and, and you know, I've seen your YouTube channel. It's very impressive. Yes, Prabhu, I, 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 I need to talk a very, very, very interesting thing. It's like uh, astrology in my life is a very crucial thing. Mm. Like, uh, give me many ways to do my best. I think this, because for many times I think in... in how I talk with, to the people, the goal of the life. And the people don't, don't need to know about this, don't think about this. But the people think, like you said, like you talk, the people searching in the, in the papers about horoscope, you know? And I think if I use this to talk about Krishna consciousness, Mm. And I discovered because this in, I, I don't know about, but I discovered, like you discovered now, this is a very important thing in the life of a uh, uh, Indian culture, you know. And I think for hundreds, like uh, many hundreds of years, all the Indian civilization, like. Uh, configurated for the Jyotish. Because it's like you said now, if you read in the in the Srimad Bhagavata, in the first chant, talk about the bird, birth, birth of uh, Parakshit, Parikshit Maharaj. Yeah. In the time, in time of Maharaj Parikshit born, born, many astrologers come and talk about her future, you know? And Prabhupada have a commentary about these verses, very, very interesting commentary about the difference of many astrologers, Indian astrologers, and have the Vipras. The Vipras is, the, is a type of astrologers, Indian astrology, Yotishas, and but talking only about the material life, the vipras. Mm. But Prabhupada said, the Vaishnavas is more higher than them because the Vaishnavas reveal the soul, reveals the, the identity of the soul. And this is a very impact in my mind, you know? Yes, I need to talk about Jyotish, not for the material life, only for the material life. It's for the soul wake up and do 
the mission of the life. And uh, the thing is, in India, in the history of the culture, is the baby born and the astrologer go and read, uh, write the things. Mm. In other time, the girl born and the astrologer go and go to the connections of all the people mm. and do the arrangements of the marriage of the other things if you if you think in india you go to buy a car have a day to do this if you go to inside of your new house have a day to you do this if you go to to a travel uh one place have a best day to you travel have many things but it's like a, the thing I, I said before. If you surrender yourself to the process of the consciousness, forget your natal chart and mm. all the things. Because Krishna go to arrange all the things for your elevation, you know, mm. for your service. But I think I don't surrender myself and I need to study this and do this like a saver, you know, mm. because I talk with the people about Krishna, about Gurudev, and I talk to the people because I have a thing, the name is Upaya. Upaya is a medicine. Upaya is a remedy, astrology, astrologic remedy, you know. And having many, many, many books, astro uh, Jyotish books about pious, like uh, you do this and this bad karma go out of your life. You do this, this bad karma is go out of your life. And like uh, you need to do austerity for Saturn. You need to do austerity for Mars. But this is a uh, karma kanda. Is one type of karma yoga only results in karma, good karma. And I think it's better you create Sukriti. And for you create Sukriti is only sadhana in the connection with a guru, with a master, you know, with have a good connection with the devotees and do your seva and things like this. For me, Astrology is this, you know. Hmm. It's fascinating to hear you talk, actually. I could hear you kind of talk all day. Um, my brain, when you were talking about three or four minutes and my brain went off at a tangent and you were taught, we were taught, you were, you, you were using Prahlad Maharaj as an example uh, and his birth and the kind of astrological stuff around it. And then I was thinking actually about Jesus's birth according to yes, the story in the Bible yes, yes. and how, how um, it's generally taught in the, in the Bible uh, that there were three wise men that came led by a star. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was all based on the kind of astrological understandings of when Jesus would be born or the, the Messiah, the second cup, sorry, the, not the second coming, the Messiah would come. Um, and it's a shame. And then my brain, I kind of thought all of this in a few seconds. It's a shame how in kind of Western Christian culture that astrology gets such a such, such criticism because actually the birth of Jesus in the Bible is kind of, you know, foretold astrologically and wise men, wise people <laughs> come uh, to see Jesus based on astrological understanding. Um, yeah, it's, it's fascinating. I'm conscious we've been talking for quite a long time now in terms of our podcast, you and I can chat after we've stopped broadcasting. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you and I have been chatting for almost an hour and a half on the podcast, which is, which is fantastic. And as soon as I mentioned astrology, your face lit up and you became really excited. Um, mm -hmm. we could talk about astrology all day. I mean, I've learned some really new things today, like the term jolt, joltish, uh, so I'm, a, I, I'm, I mean, I, I don't really know Sanskrit. I know a little bit of Sanskrit, uh, but I'm, I'm aware of the term Jyoti, 
I know what that means. So this is another word, Jyotish, um, you know, and, and it's it's described as, according to Wikipedia, Hindu astrology. I, I studied Hinduism academically in uni at university. And I didn't come across this term, so I'm quite uh, I'm quite pleased to learn about this term today, uh, in, in terms of its connection um, with the Vedas. Um, I'm just trying to think of we we kind of gone through a lot of the questions that we wanted to talk about, uh, but I don't want to kind of stop this conversation because it's going really really mm -hmm. well. I mean, how 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 does how then are the so you're using astrology to preach and share Krishna consciousness. How yeah. receptive are the public? You know, how is it going? Are the public interested in what you're talking about? Nice, nice, very nice, very nice. This is so good, man. It's like, um, if you think, I'm I'm very crazy, you know? And <laughs> I, I, yes, because I live in, like you say, like, you know, mm. I live in the, in the mountains, I live in the forest and I live far away for the people, you know? Mm. I live like a, like a monk, like a yogi, you know, in the forest. But I have people close to me and I have many friends in Sao Paulo and for two like two years I do the study of the Bhagavad Gita in the house of one friend he invited other friends of him and like uh, in the first group is like a uh, 30 30 28 or 30 people and we study all the Bhagavad Gita every every income every week, but not there are two times in the mount, three times in the mount. And we read all the Bhagavad Gita. And after this, I started a, a group of study of astrology. And after before before the COVID you know, because the COVID stops all the things. But before the COVID, I do in Sao Paulo, in the other cities, groups of introduction of Jyotish. And like, a, I think like a 400 or more people do this. Wow. You know? And it's so nice, you know, because all these people hear about Krishna, hear about Gurudev, hear about the consciousness and receive, not all, but almost all receive a Bhagavad Gita of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, you know, and this is so nice. The, this is a very, very interesting thing because I don't, talk about myself i don't do advertising about my work you know is only people talk to people only people talk with other people and talk about my style of work and the people come to me talk about your life and your astrology things knowing knowing i will talk about spirituality you know this is the reference. This is the point. The people come to me because I talk about the consciousness and talk about the consciousness for the, I don't know, have a word for this, but in the, in the conception of, of God, we need to know, have one aspect of God for anyone. God shows yourself in the in the one aspect for anyone. And we need to understand this. We need to respect the form of the others connected with God. Mm. This is a this is best the best thing, you know. And if we if we have this sensibility to understand, it's possible you talk. If you go to learn about Shiva. You go to be a greater devotee, you know. If you if you think, oh, if you know about Buddha, you go to be a good Buddhist. 
if you go to do uh, about the saints of the Christian, because it's very hard to the people know about Krishna and understand who Krishna is. This is the most, more higher, the more higher thing, you know, if possible, talk about this. I will talk about this. But if the people only need to do is hear about love, hear about peace, hear about the, the soul, and you go step by step, give to the people in the way of the consciousness. I think this, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I try, you know, I try to do my best. Well, I think it's very encouraging what you're doing and it's very inspiring. Um, and if I ever make it to Brazil, uh, I'll definitely come and see you and we can talk about <laughs> astro astrology all day. Um, yes. um, did you say that you had a, a lot of interest during the pandemic, during COVID in your classes, your online classes? Yes, I, I in this time, in the time of COVID, I started, I do online things. And because this now I have the Instagram and I have the YouTube yeah. and now I'm I'm create new things. I've subscribed to your YouTube channel, so I will make it notifications nice. and I can watch them. They're very long, quite long, <laughs> one hour fifty minutes. Uh, yes. Wow. I will I will do the subtitles in English. I learn how to do this. I will I will try. It's very professional. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, certainly during the COVID pandemic, there was, a, a, I think globally, there was a huge increase in interest in astrology uh, and other things like horoscopes. And I, I find myself, you know, I was at home for three months like everybody else. And I find myself looking online at, you know, what, what's the psychic predictions and astrological predictions about the pandemic? <laughs> How long will it last? And when will COVID go away? And uh you find lots of people saying very interesting things, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was fa fascinating time. Um, okay, Prabhuji, um, we've been talking on on the podcast for an hour and a half already, um, and so I think probably we're going to say goodbye to the audience at home. You and I can have a continue chatting after. But I I really really appreciate you coming on as the guest this week. Thank you, Prabhu. Um, I appreciate you giving up your time. Um, yeah, and I have to say, even though you're in the Brazilian rainforest, the connection has been quite amazing. Uh, <laughs> it stopped it's, raining. It's very clear. Uh, your your the, the camera work is very clear, and I think there's been a bit of um, flickering once or twice, but it's your connection's better than some people in Britain. Uh, I can I can assure you. Um, so yeah really really appreciate your time uh so i'll say goodbye to everyone at home and then we can carry on chatting after so a big thank you to gora nataraj prabhu from the brazilian rainforest for being our guest this week on on the harry christians in britain podcast which as you know has guests from outside of britain too i really appreciate him giving up his time uh um um to take part in this uh and um yeah i'm really happy that he's been happy to take part um so thank you everyone to tuning into this week's edition uh if you're watching this on facebook or youtube uh please do share the link please do put a positive comment uh, and please do like love or care for it those are some of the emotions or the emojis that you can express on facebook uh, we have a long line of guests coming up over the next few weeks here on the podcast. But if you do want to be a guest on the Harry Christians in Britain podcast, um, if you have a story to tell, we would love to hear it. Um, if you do want to be a guest, uh, get in touch here on Facebook or YouTube and we will set up uh, a date uh, for you to take part. Until next week, thank you and Harry Krishna. <laughs>